Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first Java Swing GUI application on IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So hopefully you already have installed IntelliJ IDEA IDE. If you haven't, I will link the video in the description where I have shown you how you can install IntelliJ IDEA on your Windows operating system. So once you have opened your IntelliJ IDEA IDE, go to the file option here and then click on new and then click on project and here there are few options what we are going to do is we are going to create a java application and here i'm going to choose groovy here and the the project sdk is 17 so jdk 17 is installed on my system whatever is the latest version of jdk installed on your system it's going to show that here so just leave it as default and select groovy here and then click on next and give the name of your project i'm going to just name my project as gui uh, app for example and then i'm going to click on finish which is going to download some files and it's going to create your java project and now it says open project where would you like to open the project gui app i'm going to click on this window and you can see this project has been created so once your project is created it's going to look like this here it contains a few uh, folders one is library other is dot idea we don't need to change anything here also you will see one more folder here which is called src here we are going to create our uh, gui related files right so i'm going to right click on this source folder click on new and here you will be able to see this uh, option which is called swing ui designer just click on uh, gui form here and on this window you need to provide two things one is the form name and other is the class name so form name i'm going to name my form as main and class name will be the same the base layout manager is a grid layout manager you also have a card layout flow layout and other layouts i'm going to uh, select the grid layout manager which is default in intellij idea and i'm going to click on ok which is going to create this class and you can see it's going to create the main.java class and main.form class both you will be able to see here under main now you can see here there is a gui designer when you select main.form and there is this java file which is right now empty so first of all what you need to do without adding any uh, component from this palette let's try to run this application right so we need to first of all set the title of our uh, jframe we need to set the default uh, close operation we also can set the size all these things we can do in the main.java file so without any component you just need to go to your main.java file and first of all, you need to extend your GUI application using JFrame. So just write after main extends and then just write JFrame. So at every point, you will uh, see the hints from uh, IntelliJ IDEA. As soon as you add this JFrame, this you can see Java x.swing.s is added in your main class right now i'm going to just create a constructor function so i'm going to just write uh, public and then the name of uh, my class which is main and then constructor looks like this so the it has the name similar to your java class and then inside this constructor i need to do few things right as i mentioned so what you can do here is i'm going to just copy and paste some code and i will just uh, demonstrate or illustrate what this code is doing you just write set title and whatever title you give here will be the title of your window then you have this 
set default close operation which means when you close your window what is going to happen it's going to exit your project on window close then you have the default size the initial size will be 300 by 200 also you have this method called set location related to null and if you want to learn more about all these methods you can hover over these functions and you can see more description here right and then at last you need to write set visible is equal to true right so add these five lines in your constructor and also you can create your public static void main you can just write psvm and then press enter and it's going to create your public static void main method this is the main entry point of your application as you might have already guessed here we are going to initialize our class so i'm going to just write new main and then give this semicolon just save your application by control s and then we can run our application so first we need to build our application so just click on this hammer icon and i can see that there is no error when i build this uh, project so i can run this right so i can right click on this file and then i'm going to click on run main dot main and you can see this window opens with the size 300 and height will be 200 right and you can see the title is simple GUI app which is this one right when I click on this cross icon it's going to exit and this is what this uh, line of code means right so now our basic empty frame is running so now we can start adding some components into our J frame right so the basic component or the parent component here is J panel and inside the J panel you add your other components right so I can add for example J label here I can just uh, drag and drop this label into my J panel and you can see the label is added you can add the field name of the J label so I'm going to uh, just write JL and then uh, the field name can be anything for example first name right I can also change the text of this label by default it's label I can change it to for example first uh, name here and then press enter and you can see this label is now first name right you can also add some text fields so you have this text area you have this text pane so you can add one of these items I'm going to add this text field so I'm going to drag and drop and this will be your text field so you can see the name of the text field is text field 1 for now I'm going to leave it as default but later you can give a proper field name to each and every component which you add in your J panel right here you have so many options you can even add the text here you can uh, also add many properties using these uh, properties and value options and also from here I can even preview uh, what I'm designing right so I can click on preview here and it shows me this first name and th then I can see this uh, text box which is yellow right now right I can also add a J button so I can uh, just search for J button and drag and drop into my uh, J panel and I can even change uh, the title here and I can change the label also for this right so you can see the field name is button one which is fine for me for now I can change the text here I can just write uh, click me for example and then press enter and then this text is changed right now in order to create a listener for this button click I can just right click on this button and then click on create listener I can also 
uh, press Control O to create this uh, listener for this button. Just select this and then you can see there are few uh, listeners, right? What I want to select is the act action listener, but you also have other listeners here. As I mentioned, I want to select the action listener here and then you can see the action listener will be uh, added. I will click on OK, which is going to add the action listener for this button, right? And let's say uh, when I press uh, or click on the button, I want to show a message dialog which says the hello world message, for example, right? So I can just write J option pane. So just import J option pane dot show message dialog. Just write show message dialog. And then the first argument here will be this and the second argument here will be any text which you want to display. For example, hello world. And also I can see uh, this uh, error here. So this should be main dot this and not simply this, right? So just write main dot this and this error will go, right? So once uh, we have uh, this uh, code, so this code is essentially going to just open a message dialog and show hello world. So I'm going to just uh, once again run my application. First of all, let me build it. And when I run this code, you will see that nothing will appear, hopefully. Yes, you can see uh, our changes are not visible here. And that is because we added our components, but we haven't added our J panel to our class, right? So in order to add the J panel to our class, we have to give the field name, right? So I can just write uh, main panel here and then uh, press enter. And once I press enter here, this uh, main panel is added as the field name for this J panel. And now you can see this main panel is added in my class. Now let's add this uh, to our main class, right? So just write set content pane and then just give the main panel as an argument here, okay? Once you do that, just build your project once again and then run your application and hopefully now you can see that our label is visible, text box is visible and when I click on this uh, button, you will be able to see hello world here, right? What I want to do is I want to enter some text here and I want to display whatever text I add here when I click on the button, right? So I want to enter a name and I want to show this name in the message dialog. So inside this uh, action perform method of this button click, I can just uh, declare a string variable, which I will name it as uh, first name, for example, is equal to, I will take the input from the text field, right? So the text field variable name is text field one. So I will just take the text field and then I will get the text from there. So I will just write get text method. And then whatever is the text we write in the text uh, field, it will be assigned to this variable. And I can just simply, instead of writing hello world here, I can just write uh, welcome. And then I can just write plus and then this first name variable name, okay? save this and then run your application. And then when I enter some name here, for example, Java, and when I uh, just click on click me button, it shows welcome Java, but there is no space here. So we can easily fix this problem. I can just write uh, colon space here and once again, run my application. And then once again, I just write uh, Java, and then click me and you can see welcome Java, okay? So this is how you can create your first Java Swing application in IntelliJ IDEA IDE. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.